In this video, we show you how to register from scratch to create your user account for SAP Cloud Appliance Library. If you already have an SAP Community Account or an SAP Marketplace user, you're already registered with SAP ID Service. First, go to cal.sap.com. In the top right-hand part of the screen, choose Log On. First, fill out the form and provide some information about you and your company. When you've entered all the details and acknowledged the SAP Privacy Statement, you can register with SAP ID Service. You will then receive an email asking you to activate your SAP Cloud Appliance Library account. Open the email and choose the button to activate your account. Your account is then active and you can continue. You are directed to cal.sap.com where you're logged in and where you need to accept the terms and conditions. You can refer back to them at any time under the Legal tab at the bottom left corner of the screen. You have now registered and activated your SAP Cloud Appliance Library account. In the navigation on the left hand side you see four tabs. Solutions, Workloads, Configuration and My Subscriptions. Under Solutions you will find an overview of the appliance templates that are available. New templates are added regularly. You are automatically directed to this overview when you enter SAP Cloud Appliance Library. After you have created an appliance from an appliance template, your new appliance will be shown as a manageable workload under Appliances. Under Products, we offer the default or custom software installation stacks for production-ready system deployment. They are regularly updated. After you have deployed a system from a software stack under Products, the Workloads tab will also contain the Systems menu item, which is where you manage your system. Under Configuration, you can manage your Hyperscale provider accounts and the users for SAP Cloud Appliance Library. Under Accounts, you can create and manage the connections to your Hyperscale provider and invite users and assign them roles. You can work with multiple accounts and different Hyperscale providers. Consult the context help for how-tos and information about the key concepts. Under Users, you can approve or reject user requests and handle the more general administrator permission. Under My Subscriptions, you will see an overview of your subscriptions once you have subscribed. There is also a link to SAP Store where you can purchase subscriptions. At the bottom you can find the Support tab, links to more sources of information, the general terms and conditions and the release notes. Choose Support for information such as links to frequently asked questions and the answers to them, how to create a case as a subscribed user if you need help, and a link to SAP Cloud Appliance Library where trial users can discuss their questions. The default entry screen in SAP Cloud Appliance Library is the Appliance Template Overview. We have dedicated learning videos showing how to create an appliance from a template in your preferred hyperscale provider. Note the context help in the overview screen where you can get guidance on the terminology and procedures you can execute from here. In the details about an appliance template you will find a description of the content, the installed products and an overview of required and optional virtual machines needed to run it. Supporting material is linked here too. We recommend that you consult the Getting Started Guide first. In most cases there is an architecture diagram and a link to more sources of information such as pages on sap.com plus the terms and conditions for the trial period of the specific template. In the overview the trial tag indicates which appliance templates you can use for a trial period. If you create an appliance from one of these templates when your trial period ends the tag disappears. You can search for templates and use filter options. When you have created an appliance, the status of the corresponding template changes to Activated. If you have more than one account, you can use the Accounts filter option to check which SAP Cloud Appliance Library account the appliance was created in. To get in touch with our experts and explore more learning material on how to create appliances 
or to find more detailed documentation and step-by-step -step procedures, see the information below for the link to our SAP Cloud Appliance Library community. Thanks for watching.